Hello everyone. You know, I can't help but think about how much those living with EB can teach us. Lessons in humility, grace, and perhaps most of all, bravery. It's now my honor to introduce one of the bravest young men I've ever come across, John Hudson. What makes a superhero? Is it a person with super strength, super speed, the power to save lives? Or is it simply the extraordinary courage to inspire others despite your own pain? John Hudson's origin story began 18 years ago in Staten Island. Born with recessive dystrophic EB, he has the equivalent of third degree burns practically all over his body. If you've ever experienced a burn, you can imagine only the smallest fraction of his pain. The pain is just, it's horrible. An avid comic book fan, John Hudson is inspired by the stories of Doctor Strange, Wolverine and Spider-Man. None of them are perfect, but stories of transformation and redemption give him hope. But only now is John Hudson realizing his own superpowers. Despite rarely leaving his room, he uses his voice to spread awareness and comfort others who may be struggling. I like that you can take what you have and use it for good. It's my responsibility to like help myself and others with EB. John Hudson doesn't need a cape to touch lives around the world. With the support of his family, he has donated bandages to people fighting EB in Brazil, all the way to Vietnam. So how would John Hudson like his saga to unfold? I want it to be a day where if there's a child born with EB, they, don't, they won't have to live with it long enough to experience the things that I've experienced. He's waiting for that moment in the story where he can annihilate EB. The moment where the gene therapy works and the first child becomes healed and then the next until no more EB. 18 years ago when I was born and there was absolutely nothing go going on. Um, I just think that now that there's so many people helping, it's, it's incredible. Now, John, a good buddy of mine, he goes by the name of Iron Man. Well, he once said that heroes are made by the path they choose, not the powers they're graced with. John Hudson, you may not be on the easiest path, but your story and your journey has touched the lives of so many people. You're my friend and you're a real hero.